Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video we're going to be taking a first look at Krista and James who are part of the Road to S class event. First up we're going to look at Krista being one of those two characters which you can choose. You can only choose one or the other. Now Krista is an S class character, they both are. And she has got 5,844 attack, 2,705 defense, and 4,115 HP. Now her stats do look wrong here. I don't think they will be changed because obviously people will be making their decisions based on the stats of these characters. But the stats that were announced on the forums were very different. This character with 30 veteran rings has less defense than their originally announced defense stat on Krista without veteran rings so it doesn't make any sense at all but to be honest that 5844 attack is great it is huge it is in fact higher than priya's by 400 attack stat so that is really really nice she is a little bit glass cannon based on the fact that her defense is pretty low for an s class character that is the lowest defense stat that we've seen on any s class character so far now her trait is alert and her role is damage we'll look at her adrenaline rush it's called you've earned it it is a 66 ap rush so very quick Deal 750% damage, huge amounts of damage to one enemy. Up to two other enemies get 50% slow and 100% heal reduction for three turns. So obviously, like I said, 66 AP really quick. Don't normally get those sort of speedy rushes within the wider, you know, accessible characters. 750% to one enemy is absolutely insane, regardless of what era we're talking about. Five star, six star, S class. That is a huge amount of single target damage. And that is a nuke. That character is gone. Whoever she's attacking should be dead. Especially without even boosts. But with weapon boosts, leader boosts, mods, it's going to be insane. Now, when she kills a character, two other characters will get debuffed with the 50% slow and 100% heal reduction for three turns. This is the first time slow is going to be made available in the wider accessibility again. So it is kind of nice that this character has got a little bit that we just haven't really seen can be made accessible the only other characters are slow i believe are fast governor and olivia and 100 percent hill reduction is a nice little bonus that means that obviously for three turns two characters cannot be revived if they are killed so obviously those characters would have to be killed first and then they couldn't be revived for those three turns but they can also just not receive any heals it is pretty decent especially coming up against certain s class defense teams it can be nice with that s class pete as the leader it can be very frustrating with his active heal which is extremely strong now she does also have an active skill and it's called focus and defense down has an initial cooldown of two and a cooldown of two so very quick initial cooldown and very quick cooldown as well but personally i don't like this i don't mind the, the personal focus which this is it's a, this character gets focused for three turns there's no ap gain on this so she will lose a turn if she's trying to get her rush still and if you're doing this when she's already got her rush you'll have to use a command to take advantage i'm not 100 sold on how good this is going to be the second half of it is more for a support character and you generally speaking would want someone to do this for krista not for krista to do this for someone else however if you have got more s class characters like for instance priya she could be debuffing characters for Priya, which actually pre could be pretty useful. And long term, she could obviously do it for other characters as well. She's also got a specialist skill, which is called Waste Not. And I'll read through the description. It says, when this specialist kills an enemy with an attack or adrenaline rush, any excess damage is dealt to one adjacent target. So when she does a basic attack, if she kills somebody and does 2000 damage, but that character only has 500 HP left, one of the adjacent characters to that character she initially attacked Will be hit with 1500 damage it will also happen with the rush as well and when you want waste not to trigger it's best that it's obviously combined with a huge amount of percentage damage rush which it is and very good base attack stat which it is there is the obvious downside that if she was to attack a character with her rush and next to that character was a payback character waste not could trigger payback on the second character you obviously wouldn't want to rush a payback character initially but Waste Knot could trigger on the second character and nuke three characters on your own defense team. And that definitely would happen with the amount of damage output she's going to have. But there is semi-control because it is only adjacent characters. So if you were to attack characters in the corners, there would be only two possible Waste Knot victims. 
so you have a little bit of control in those circumstances. She has not got an attached weapon, so she has a little bit of variation that you can bring to the table. I have seen people talk about splash damage, for instance, and that could be pretty decent until S-Class characters are everywhere. Then I think splash damage would just not be as useful. She can, of course, hold a stun gun. She can hold an AP down gun. There are a vast amount of weapons that she can hold, but I would probably say having attack percentage on there is a must and an attack percentage leader and her attack stat will just be through the roof. The second character available is James and he is again is also an S-Class character and just like Krista his stats do seem a little bit off compared to what was originally announced. His attack stat is 4,836, his defense is 3,873 and his HP is 3,691. His trait is strong and his role is also damage. His adrenaline rush is called Dead Stop. It has a 76 AP cost that deal two attacks of 250% damage, 500% total to one enemy. Up to three enemies get 600 bleed for three turns. This character gains 50 crit for three turns. So obviously two massive hits, he can potentially kill two characters with that rush. So very similar to Krista in that his rush could potentially kill two characters. However, he is susceptible to things like stun on defense, reflect, that sort of thing, because it is two separate basic attacks, basically how this works. But also if he has an on attack stat, for instance, stun on attack, he could potentially stun with that rush as well. The up to three enemies get 600 bleed is a nice little bonus for three turns. If you do run a lacerator with this character, you can utilize bleed quite heavily. And against S-Class teams, that is a pretty good way to roll. This guy will have pretty good synergy with the Rick that is in League Store right now, but he would have good synergy just based on that bleed with any lacerator character. And the last bit is him gaining a little bit of crit, which is nice. But I would have personally like to see a little bit of control in there, even if it was only like a two turn in pair for those three characters. Now he does have an active skill of course and it has an initial cooldown of 2 and a cooldown of 2 just like Krista's and it's this character gets elusive for 3 turns and gains 40% AP. Now this is a much nicer secondary in terms of gaining AP so he will get his rush if he does this active most likely. So you will not be losing a turn if for instance you wanted to use him on a defense team which I could see some people doing just based on the amount of stats he's got. The elusive is, I guess, kind of nice, but it's not really that big a deal if I'm honest. There were probably better options that could have been used, even the focus that we saw on Krista. Now he has got a specialist skill and it is one of my favorite, it is collateral damage to when this character performs a critical attack on an enemy, they will deal splash damage, 100% damage attack to up to three adjacent enemies. So obviously this only occurs when he deals an actual critical attack. There is due to be an update to the specialist skill collateral damage to as well, where if it does actually happen, the people that are attacked by the splash damage will no longer gain AP like they did before. This wasn't a huge deal, but it was just something that it was a bit harder to control once it did go off. Now again, just like Krista, the downside of the specialist skill is it works with his rush. And it, again, it will proc if there's payback characters where specialist skill collateral does count as part of his rush if it happens when he's rushing. So again, there is the potential for him to nuke his own team with payback, just like Krista. Now you will have to mod him with a crit mod most likely if you want to utilize this specialist skill and that will make him a little bit less defensive and give you a little bit less control over basically how you want to roll with this character. But due to his rush type and his specialist skill he's going to be one of the few characters that can utilize the critical set for mods. He does have an attached weapon and it is a pretty unique and cool looking one. I think it's probably the most unique weapon that I've seen for a while at least and it is James Violent Stop Sign. It has 30% attack bonus as the base stat, which is great. Obviously, he can utilize that nicely. A medium bonus to AP when attacking is an upgrade slot. You'd want to probably make that a huge bonus. And then the last slot is a bonus crit, 60 crit when HP is more than 50%. Now, I'd actually say this might be worth keeping or maybe going for the stun on attack. It's because obviously this will help that collateral damage just proc based on the specialist skill only happening when he hits crits. So you can make it so that he gets 40% attack, a huge bonus to AP when attacking, and keep that third slot. 
and his damage output should be pretty hefty. And that's Krista and James, and honestly, you have to choose one of these characters for this event. There's no rush in you doing so. You get the crate, you can just hold on to it and not choose your character for you know a couple of days a week you can maybe come up against the character and see how he does you can see what other people say first but personally i think krista's going to be much better initially she has got massive attack stat she's going to be very good as that single target attacking character which we don't really ever get within free to play way way back in the pick your side event where you could get dwight or you could get jesus it was one of the only characters that I can really remember where it was a single target damage character and I picked him and he made a massive difference to my game in the five star era. This is one of the first characters that you're gonna have available to you as an S class character and she does the same sort of deal. And those rushes are more than likely going to kill two characters every single time. Now the thing with James is he is going to be more viable in a lot more areas of the game. He's got guaranteed longevity just based on the fact that you can use him on your world map teams if you get loads of S class characters for instance. He's gonna have full wipe potential on certain teams as well based on obviously six stars having such worse stats than S class characters. If there is no payback character on a defense team, you could get that rush off nice and quick and he could destroy it with that specialist skill. I think just based on the specialist skill and, and the rush, this character is probably gonna be a lot more fun in terms of the explosive damage this guy can bring to the table. But all in all, I don't think there's a bad pick here. You can't really make a bad decision unless you pick completely against what you've already got in your roster. If you've got a heavy melee teams already, it probably would be best to go with James. If you've got heavy range teams already, it probably would be best to go with Krista. If you fully rely on your Michelle attack team, Krista just slots straight into that. If you do not have anyone available to you that either of these characters can go with, there's Camilla who's in the league store right now and you can get as a leader for James instantly. So do tell me which character you're going to pick out of these two. Are you gonna sit on the fence for a little while? I'm gonna be picking one of each of these characters in each of my regions, so I'm gonna be giving them a good full test and that way I can show you the different gameplay for both of these characters as well in the future. But like I said, do tell me what you think about these characters. That is the end of my video. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.